Nello. I'm really excited to be here at Camara. Thank you for welcoming me, as always, for a visit. Um, and I'm really uh, excited to talk about the collaboration we have between our, our two companies. And so, so can you tell us a little bit more about target protein de degradation? What is that exactly? So uh, in our cells, in each one of our cells, there is a, a machinery called ubiquitin proteasome system. And this is responsible for recycling and destroying proteins consistently. A protein that is either overexpressed or it's misfolded is recognized by this machinery and it's degraded into small peptides that can be used to make new proteins. So what we can do with protein degradation, use these small molecules, mm -hmm. molecules that have an end that bind to one protein and another end that bind to another protein. And by doing so, we bring a disease-causing protein to this recycling cell machinery and we tag it for degradation. So we believe that this technology is best suited for conditions that are difficult to drug that are, you know, in many cases chronic, that require selective targeted by powerful technologies. So for us at Chimera, the future is disease agnostic, but the immediate future for us is immunology, solving big problems with small molecules. So you're actually using the body's own machinery and repurposing it a little bit to, to actually make a, make a drug out of it. That, that, that's exactly. fascinating engineering. So it'd be interesting maybe to hear from you uh, how do you see protein degradation and how it fits in immunoinflammatory indications? I think if you take chronic inflammatory diseases, the immune process itself is so complicated that if we take a drug that's very broad, it'll treat the disease, but then it has side effects. It inhibits the immune process from doing the things it normally should be doing, like fighting infections or fighting cancers even. A lot of the drugs historically are very immunosuppressive. And then on the flip side, if your drug is too specific, it actually won't work in inhibiting your disease. So we, we, we're always trying to thread that needle to get, get, get enough potency, enough broad aspects, but specific enough that it's not gonna cause a lot of side effects. And it's where small molecules, if we can develop them that are adequately targeting the disease can be so effective. So, so Nella, why do you think a collaboration between uh, companies like this is so important for, for developing innovation? I think it's short-sighted to believe that we can do everything on our own. But the most important aspect is actually leveraging the strength. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Chimera is, when we signed the collaboration, uh, was a uh, still a, actually a preclinical company uh, whose uh, strength, I would say, was innovating in, uh, in the TPD space and going after difficult to drug targets. For us, at least, Sanofi represented a partner that can help us accelerate and broaden our opportunity in the clinic and eventually commercially. So the win-win is really in combining the two capabilities. This has been a, a really strong collaboration for a, probably a simple reason that both companies are focused on delivering on innovation. Truth-seeking companies that want to take innovative medicines into the clinic and hopefully through the clinic to serve patients in these chronic indications that are, you know, really horrible. So, I mean, uh, even you visiting us today has been uh, another way to show how these collaborations work. We need to talk to each other. We need to uh, help each other and, and, and doing face-to-face -face interactions is irreplaceable, right? Absolutely. I really uh, always enjoy coming to Chimera because I learn something new every time I'm here. So I appreciate uh, the chance to visit.